Hey, MP, you feeling good? Yeah, I, I'm good, you man. You sure? You know, you look like you need some fresh air. Maybe you should go take a walk. No, I'm good, bro. I actually, was actually, you should go put on a fresh new outfit, you know, something flashy. Let the people see how you feeling. So this like a, a striker pose thing and not like a mental health thing? <laughs> look, I'm just saying, man, every time you step outside looking the way that you do, People are talking, they're posting pictures. First comment's always something like, oh my God, there's MP. Second comment, look at what he's wearing, straight fire. Dog, every time that happens, we get one step closer to changing the game. I'm just saying, think it over. Hey, what's up? Get in here.
Get out of here. Welcome in.
Cool. See you later. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, need some help? What's up, MP? You know, I'm actually really glad you're back. <laughs> yeah, me and you both, man. It's been a... Wait, hold on. You being too nice, bro. What you about to ask me to do? What? Well, I just can't be happy to see my friend. And what else? All right, fine. I came up with a genius idea, bro. Right. Now, check this out. There's a runway stage set up in the middle of the city. It's perfect for an impromptu fashion walk, I'm just saying. You want me to do a fashion walk in the middle of the city? All right, look, I know it sounds crazy, but that's why it's brilliant. Everybody be talking about it. Because everybody gonna be talking about it. Yeah. Like, I know you got style, man, and I know you've been wanting to start a fashion line someday. Well, the best way? Get people talking about it. I mean, you can't keep all this swag to yourself. All right, check this out. I'm gonna send you the info. You go check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, man, I feel you. But look, at some point, after a long day, I just want to come home. I want to chill, bro. No business. Okay, and one day we will. After we've achieved all our dreams. <laughs> all right, so I shouldn't hold my breath. Got it. Nah, definitely don't do that.
Rockets ain't playing around. They don't play. And every year, Grant, the officials seem to emphasize a different rule. Go. You think it takes long for players to adjust? You know, B.A., it depends on the rule and how strict they will call it. Things like the rip-through, hand-checking, those type of rules, they take some time to adjust. From the elbow, rebounded by Green. Outside Tate. Pass to Wall. Driving to the basket, and the big finish by Wall. The lightning speed is what is impressive. Defense yes, doesn't have time to react. John Wall on the drive. And here's Tatum. Checking in for the Celtics. Rockets call timeout. Give them a hand, man. They are the clutch. Order the pass to MP. Pass to Shangun. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Done left side. Here's Pritchard, defended by Gordon. Back to Dunn. Now here's Canner. Knocks it loose. MP against Richardson. To the paint. Here's Shangun. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Pritchard, defended by Gordon. Josh Richardson reminding you I've got some hops right there. Peyton Pritchard. And it's the Rockets with the ball. They're leading by eight. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Well, let's give some credit to the coaching staff as well. Recognizing the weaknesses in that defense and going after each one of them. Williams up top. Now here's Dunn. He's guarded by Porter. Canner finds Richardson. Six on the shot clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Williams from long range. The offensive rebound. And out of bounds. Houston will have it. Here's Porter. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Now here's MP to the middle. A shot to stop the drill. In deep, Wood drops it in. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Steps back. Richardson for three. It's rebounded by Shangun. And it's the Rockets with the ball. It's a 10-point game, and this is their first time matched up with the Celtics this year. And always a lot to find out when opponents haven't seen each other yet. It's an interesting matchup. Two teams that don't know each other all that well. Separate conferences. We'll see which one can dictate the pace early. And you get some traditional big man stuff from Wood. If you look at his handles, going one-on-one -on -one outside the painted area, most centers can't do all the things that he can do. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Takes one from 10 feet, and the jumper Josh is good. Richardson. Uh, Josh Richardson showing off the smooth jumper right there. And Wood's shown great versatility on offense, but the same skill set applies on the defensive end as well. I mean, he can switch. He slides on the perimeter to protect the rim. 
His skill set is exactly what scouts are looking for now at the center position. Shangun, no good. Out to Gordon. Porter, the pass to MP. Shot clock at five. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. And the basket by Wood. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. MP against Richardson. Pass to Canner. And here's Dunn. Canner with a screen on Porter. Outside Richardson. Drills it from deep. Richardson's got seven. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers done showing great vision. Gordon, the pass to MP. Inside. Here's Wood. And Wood with the stuff. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Now five seconds separating the shot clock to the game clock. And so he draws the foul. Kevin Porter Jr. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Celtics. He's perfect from the line this time. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. MP against Richardson. MP, the pass to Nuaba. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Look out below. <laughs> you got no chance of defending him right there. From the high post. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beat. With the score, your Rockets. 37. Get loud for your club. Boston. Williams is checked in for Horford. Canner comes in for Jalen Brown. Richardson's checked in for Smart. And Pritchard is subbed in for Schroeder. Here's Canner. Pass to Pritchard. Tatum with it. Canner sets a screen. And Tatum, here we go. And it's Canner. That time on the assist by Tatum. Canner's got his second basket of the night. Well, you have to be effective in the screen and roll game if you're a big man in today's NBA. Cantor, when he's rolling with purpose, look out. John Wall is out there with Kevin Porter. Then it's MP. Then there's Christian Wood. And it's Shangun in at the four spot. That's the five for Houston right now. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Williams with the screen. And the foul Rockets called on John Wall. John That's foul number two for him. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Dunn, he's checked in for Boston. Chris Dunn. Outside Richardson. Pass to Pritchard. Clock at six. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Yeah, I really admire the poise of Chris Dunn appearing totally comfortable in the paint. Wall, the pass to MP. Wood, a screen on Richardson. Down low. Basket by Wood. Wood's got 19 points. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pass to Pritchard. Beyond the arc. And the Celtics another three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. MP is doubled. Here's Shangun. Back to MP. Oh, and there's 
the whistle on the shot. So Josh Richardson. That's his first personal foul. Second team. Foul. Two decades in the league. What do you think some of the biggest highlights of your career were? Really just, you know, playing on some great teams with great players, uh, the relationships, the experiences. I didn't win an NBA championship, uh, but I am more than blessed with having an incredible 19-year career. Now here's Dunn, covered by MP. Here's Pritchard. Oh, it's no good! That would have tied it. Houston in the lead. Pass to Harper. To the inside. Outside for Porter. They set a pick. Outside wall. Up and over Richardson. The Rockets again can't hit. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. And Williams punches it home. Well, Chris Dunn's passing ability was ready-made for the NBA. Pass to Harper. Inside. Here's Shangun. Williams defending. MP is doubled. Now here's Porter. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. The shot clock. Celtic ball. Here's Pritchard. Outside Richardson. Jacks up a three. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Harper. Here's Shangun, guarded by Richardson. Shot clock at six. Here's Shangun. And here's Porter outside. Count it. One for one to start the game. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Two remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Back to Dunn. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws. Two second personal foul. Thirteen foul. Shooting for Boston. The line is good. Taking two shots. And so he's able to get one of two. The Rockets shooting a decent 41% in the second quarter. MP with it. And it's Canner picking him up. Here's Wood. And he comes up with a bucket. Wood's got 21 points in the game. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Porter against Richardson. Here's Canner. Count that one. Canter. Canner's got six points. Well, show me Josh your vision, Richardson. Josh Richardson. What a delivery. Wood, a screen on Richardson. Who poked away. Pass to Harper. To the paint. Here's Wood. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Given 23. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Here's Pritchard. Back to Dunn. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Porter finds MP. To the middle. There's the block. Encouraging to see Cantor trying harder on the defensive end. There's height. There's ability to block shots. Go to work, Ennis. Done. And he got the whistle on the way up. So Kevin Porter Jr. That's his third personal foul. Fourteen foul. More aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Tate's checked in for the Rockets. Yeah, we're talking about the fifth overall pick in 2016. Done with exceptional two-way talent. Some pundits felt like he could have gone as high as number three. Wood, a screen on Richardson. MP, the pass to Wood. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Wood's got 25 points in the game. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Now Richardson. Can't connect from 13 feet out. 
Christian Wood has been leading the charge for Houston. With a score, your Rockets, 60, the Celtics, 55. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that. Checking in for the Celtics. Celtics call timeout. All right, fans. That was your clutch. City Tinkers. Here's Dunn. He's got five. Outside Richardson from deep. That shot off the mark. The Rockets go the other way with it. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Tate finds MP. Sends it home from three-point land. MP's got eight points. And if the name MP sounds familiar, it might be due to his high school days. For social media, he had a major presence when he was a teenager. It caused MP to gain a lot of fanfare at a young age. Now, he'll have to work hard to shed the image of being a social media star and be viewed as an NBA star. You must crowd Cantor when he is in the mid-range. He is a knockdown shooter. MP up top, guarded by Richardson. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Pass to Pritchard. Five on the clock. From 15 feet away. Out left to the wing. Dunn shot is good. Done. Give him eight points now. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. VA, the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Alec. Thanks. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Porter finds MP. Tate, a screen on Richardson. Richardson against MP. Down low. Pass to Martin. MP with it. Two minutes remaining in the third. Three-pointer. And Pritchard pulls it down. The Celtics with the lead. And they recover it. Canner, the pass to Williams. Tries again. And it's Canner. That time on the assist from Williams. Williams has got his third assist of the night. I love the hustle and the heart with which Ennis Panther plays. This guy is a terror on the offensive glass. Inside. Ooh, stolen by Canner. Rockets foul. That's his first. Boston. Boston. Brown, he's checked in for Pritchard. Foul. And it's Schroeder in for Dunn. And for the Celtics, they're shooting around 53%. A nice number. Dennis Schroeder passes to Williams. Here's Richardson. Soft touch Josh off the glass. Richardson. And it's a nine-point Boston lead. Well, you love that Josh Richardson doing some work on the painted area. Go ahead, Josh. MP against Brown. Here's MP. Tight defense on him. Here's Tate. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Just five on the clock. Pulls up. 
kept alive. And Cantor with the slam. Well, this is Ennis Cantor's comfort zone at the rack in a hurry. The Rockets shooting 35% in the third quarter. So it'll be two free throws. Ennis Cantor. Good whistle there. His first personal foul. First one falls for him. Taking two. He does not get the second one. The Celtics shooting nearly 60% from the floor in the third. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Porter against Brown. Puts up a three. He drops it from range. Brown's got 22. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does That's work. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. You're up, man. Going what? City! And as we head. Celtic substitution. At the line for your Rockets. Christian Wood. At the line for one. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. MP is out there with DJ Augustine. Then there's Christian Wood. Then it's David Nwaba, and it's Shangun in a power forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Schroeder passes to Canner, and Canner with the slam. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. To the inside. Back to Schroeder. And out of bounds. The Rockets will take it. Ball. Checking in for the Celtics. MP against Richardson. MP outside. From downtown. He can't get it to go. And so it's Boston. That's the 